this guy, Daniel Hakikachu, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide him. I feel really sorry for the people that have been duped by this individual. You see how, how much excuses he's willing to fetch? He's willing to go out of his way to fetch for excuses and to sim uh, sympathize with those who curse Aisha anha and curse Abu Bakr and Umar and have killed the Sunnis. But we don't get even 1% of that courtesy. Sunni Muslims. I didn't curse my mother Aisha. I didn't curse Abu Bakr and Umar. I've never killed a Muslim, never laid hand on a Muslim, never hurt a Muslim in my life. No matter what denomination they are, I and and Faris and other du'at, wallahi, we don't even get a 1% courtesy of the uh, courtesy and the, the excuses that he finds for the enemies of Allah. We are the agents, the madkhali, bootlickers, uh, you know, uh, idiots, uh, that uh, Zionists, who are working uh, for, against Islam and for the uh, establishment of the idea. Yeah, and he absolutely ludicrous. How, how, how can someone be in his right mind? That shows you the level of hypocrisy and lies and wickedness. If, if he really wants to be consistent because he's always talking about being consistent. If you want to be consistent, be consistent with us. Oh, right, we don't see eye to eye. Hey, get, find, find a justification, find an excuse for us. No, a'udhu billah. We are the enemies of Islam. And the Shia, ayatullahs, you know, the takfir, the takfir. And if this is kufr, then this is kufr. And if this is a kafir, then this is a kafir. Now we, those, Adi, he, he, his knowledge of, of aqidah, is less than my five-year-old child. I believe, Allah Alam, my son Mustafa has a better aqidah and knows aqidah more than Daniel. Dude has no idea what he's saying. He said, if you believe that, if you're going to do takfir on the Shia for believing that the Ayatullah, you know, uh, for believing that the Imams uh, control the atoms and no atom in this world moves except, you know, but under their command and control, then therefore also a lot of Sunni Muslims. Sunni Muslims are also no longer, they also have to pass takfir on them. Have you ever seen a Sunni Muslim who believes that the Prophet ﷺ controls the universe? Have we ever, ever called a person who believes, the kufr shirk bin rububiya, not just shirk in asma and sifat, not just shirk in uluhiyya, this is shirk in rububiya. Have you ever seen a Sunni Muslim call another person who believes that the Prophet ﷺ controls this universe with Allah or instead of Allah? Have you ever seen us call him a Sunni Muslim? To him, these are Sunni Muslims. And if these are Sunni Muslims, then the 12 rites, uh, Ja'farites, Rafida are also Muslims. Or if you say these Sunni Muslims are not Muslims, or if you say, sorry, that those Shia are no longer Muslims, then you also have to say that those Sunni Muslims are not Muslims. None of them were Muslims in the first place. None of them were Muslims in the first place. You, who, who doesn't understand this stuff, man? Little kids understand this stuff. Allah al man.